Hi everybody, I'm Dean. And I'm Jay. And we, we are, are Para DJ. DJ. And we are here today with a wrap up for the Carnival Sunshine. It's been a while since we've done a wrap up video True. for our cruise series. We used to do them all the time. Well, I guess we used to never do them, and then we did a few, then we stopped, now we're back. This one I feel like needs one, because this yeah. ship in particular, you either love it or hate it, it it's seems. Polarizing. like There's no in-between. So That's right. We did figured, we love it? We'll give you our opinion. Did we hate it? Stay tuned. No. <laughs> right now, we're going to let you know. So how did you feel about the sunshine overall? I'm team love it. Yeah, I would a few say team love it. So... Yeah, overall, I thought the layout was really nice. It's the most unique carnival ship we've ever been Only on. Only one of its kind. Yeah, because they stretched, they the old stretched it, added cabins. The Serenity area is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Three levels, really, really nice pool with a waterfall feature. That was cool. Yeah, I definitely recommend if you can get a seat out there, go go hang out. It's mm -hmm. really nice. And of course, by them stretching it and adding cabins, because I guess what they did mm -hmm. when they took the old Destiny, they got rid of the comedy <laughs> club at the back of deck five and put cabins. And then they got rid of the main level of the theater on deck three and put cabins. So it made a two level, you know, theater. Mm -hmm. But yeah, pros, I know the Havana area was another favorite. We really spent a cool. lot of time in the Havana area. Yeah, and I like the layout of the Havana because um, in the morning they have omelets back there. So if you don't want to be True. in the, the rush of the busy buffet area, there's a great seating in the Havana area. They do omelets for breakfast and some fruit and stuff. They have coffee and drinks back there as well mm. during the day. Yum. They do Havana Bites. Which Breakfast is really cool. The only ship I know that you can do that if you're not in a Havana cabin. True, I think that's still accurate. Yeah, and then they have live music back there. They have a bar. Um, they have Gigi's um, Asian, and then they have Cucina del Capitano, which is the pasta bella at lunch. So a lot lots of, of cool dining yeah. options. And you can just take your Lido food back there and eat it if you want yep. to. Too. Hit the buffet, go back to Havana and eat because it's yep. a little less crowded usually. Loved that area. Yeah, but I mean a lot of pros. I mean they had you know there was the milkshake place, which yep. I always like to see. A lot of a lot of upgraded things. Mm -hmm. It was very modern feeling and clean looking. Yeah. Um, the hallway seemed larger. Yeah, wider. <laughs> Something hallways. I noticed. I don't know. It was magic. <laughs> Maybe they expanded the hallways. I don't know. Um, the room seemed a little smaller. People say that yeah. the room seemed smaller. Um, Not and drastically, was, but the shower. Yeah, a lot of, oh yeah, your legs, if you're tall like we are, go into the shower kind of when you're on the toilet. But the so. shower TMI. was bigger. So a plus, Yeah. the shower was larger. It was a nice rectangle <laughs> instead of being like, you know, a little half a quarter of a circle, I guess. Yeah, true. But yeah, there was no place for your feet when you had to sit on the toilet. So I guess. At least one foot went in the shower. Yeah. Which is interesting. Some people say that um, not all the rooms have many refrigerators. We happen to have one yeah. in our room. I don't know why some would and some wouldn't. Maybe you have to request it. I don't know. But it's not standard apparently. And then night stands. Like oh, most yeah, we only other people one. said that there's only one in a lot of rooms too. Whoops. So we created our own with this They stool, didn't. But... See when they added cabins Weird. they forgot to add extra nightstands. They never ordered them. <laughs> this was like 2013 that they made the sunshine I think. 2013? That uh, sounds really soon. Yeah. I forget what year but yeah Such they forgot soon. to order the nightstands. Yeah maybe it's about seven years ago. Yeah. Editing me will put a little thing up if that was wrong. I don't know. And, and we were just in like a standard interior cabin. Oh, yeah. So that's probably not true in all the cabins, obviously. But a lot of pluses. I mean, we liked it overall. Would we sail it again? Yes. 100%. Uh, the only negatives, of course, were the same negatives that they're doing, you know, with the same with the Vista and the Horizon. You've got the Liquid Lounge and the Limelight Lounge. Not our fan. Not <laughs> our favorite concepts. They're just, they're kind of limited. The sight lines are weird. There's not enough capacity for the people that no. need to sit in there, especially on things like Love and Marriage, where there's only one showtime. Mm -hmm. Hasbro, for us, the holiday show. There's, you know, there people can't get in there and see Very the show. Very limited seating. And the Comedy Lounge is really weird on this one because, like, it's, it's a cool little main area, but then there's, like, two little side areas where you have to watch the show on a television. Which we ended up doing <laughs> we did. every time, I think. Yeah, so if you sit over to the side, you know, you'll be able to see the person, but you're going to watch the show on a TV, which was kind of weird. So pointers are just to try and get in line early for oh, the shows, yeah. like really early uh, to get a good seat. Otherwise, you might end up in the nosebleed like we did, we did <laughs> a few a times. Bit. And the sight lines, like you said, are not good if you're on yeah. the side because they play to the back of the stage with all the like cool screens and stuff and you can't we see any see of that. Cool so I know. just something to be aware of. Yeah. And the main atrium area seems a little small for the yeah. deck parties. And when we were trying to film things like the tree lighting and some other things, those big old silver balls were in the way of everything. As I mean, pretty as they are. It's a cool not. concept yeah. design. You know, I guess it's like you got the big sunshine over the bar and maybe these big silver planets. I don't know what the <laughs> intent is, but they were in the way. They yeah. were in the sight lines. 
Uh, but yeah, overall, mm -hmm. sunshine, we approve. It's a nice ship. It didn't really ever feel overly crowded to me, but maybe mm -hmm. we don't hang out where all the cool kids are. Well, I they're also know. in a journeys cruise with a more laid back oh, crowd. I, think, I do think that has something to do with if it. If you're on like a five day party cruise on the sunshine, maybe it would be a different feel. Yeah. We never had problems finding chairs or anything mm -hmm. by the Serenity area. And a lot of people say you do. So it's probably just dependent on what type of cruise you go on and how long it is. So. That's true. I don't know. But we would like to try the sunshine again. I mean, I'm sure yeah. it's it's going to be in uh, Charleston for a little while. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't see there's no plans to move it out of Charleston. So no. I don't know. We like the sunshine. Yeah. My, Mikey was great on the sunshine. Oh, I love Mikey. Embarkation in Charleston was weird, but I mean, it wasn't bad. <laughs> it didn't take that much longer, no, but we, it was strange. Yeah, it was different because we were on the ecstasy January 2019 and it was the same old easy uh -huh. process. And now here we are a year later, not even 11 months. I guess maybe the sunshine, the passenger capacity, they had to do that weird outbuilding where you have to be taken uh, off and then processed. And I wondered what the whole reason was. It like seemed to happen around the something. time that the sunshine came to Charleston. So yeah. I don't I don't know. <laughs> but overall Team Love. Thumb and a half up. Only the pride gets two thumbs there up. There you go. Oh. Thumb and a half. Well that's pretty good rating. Yeah, then, that's good. Honestly. So what do we give it? Three total thumbs out of four. There you go. <laughs> that's how that works. It's a nice ship. If you guys get the chance to go on it, please do. And let us know what your thoughts are. And, um, you know, it's not for everyone. We understand that. But this is yeah. just our personal opinion. We really liked it. That's right. So. And I guess that's it for our wrap-up. So we didn't really have any bloopers or behind-the-scenes footage. Everything I had made it into the videos. So we just a edit. Quick, no. little, quick little <laughs> chatty uh, wrap-up. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the series. Stay tuned for more adventures. we got a lot coming up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you uh, aren't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, become a Paromaniac today, socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep, and until next time, rock, rock on! on.